Hi, welcome to the Eastern Shore Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Eastern Shore housing market, which includes the counties of Caroline, Cecil, Dorchester, Kent, Queen Anne's, and Talbot. Some people talk about the national housing market as if it's some static thing, like a toaster. The thing is, there is no national housing market, just like there is no national weather forecast. That doesn't mean national averages don't have their place, but you don't grab a raincoat and an umbrella in Miami based on the weather in Seattle. Like the weather, all real estate is local. As we embark on the fourth and final quarter of 2011, let's take a look at our local forecast. Pending sales increased 16.8% from last September to arrive at 209 for the month. Nowadays, purchase demand is being driven by low rates, bargain deals, and, let's be honest, favorable year-over-year comparisons to 2010. Those gains in purchase demand are still chipping away at the number of active listings on the market. Inventory levels were down nearly 14% to 3,344 units. Markets around the country are shedding supply. It's usually a leading indicator, meaning it precedes improvements in other metrics. Prices were down from last year, which could simply reflect strong sales activity at the lower price points. The median sales price decreased 4.8% from last September to $220,000. To give that some context, here's a chart showing year-over-year price change. As you can see, the major dips have become less severe and we've even been flirting with some price gains recently. Some finely tuned observers are watching alternative indicators even more so than prices. Why? A number of things need to happen before we return to sustained price growth. For example, the supply-demand balance needs to stay under six months for a decent stretch of time. Absorption rates is really just a fancy way of saying how quickly buyers can absorb the number of active listings. Month supply does a great job of assessing this balance. Last month, it was down 12.6% to 17.4 months. A dash of uplifting economic news was overshadowed by debt clouds from the ongoing turmoil in Greece and, of course, the threat of bank contagion. Manufacturing activity, construction spending, and overall job growth all picked up in September, temporarily calming fears of the dreaded double-dip storm. As for the lending climate, the Fed's recent Operation Twist helped push mortgage rates to record lows, under 4% for the first time ever. Despite the cheap money, Jobs, jobs, jobs should still be the battle cry. That's the Eastern Shore Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.